Okay, so we're back. I didn't do one for day two because I didn't think it was worth a whole video. So I'm going to be combining day one, day two, and day three into one video. So this is day two and day three of Crazy.tf Hazardous Environments. Let's go. So day two is just like little little bits, little features. The first one is paintbrushes. When man discovered the colours, he must have thought, "Oh my, how many hats can I colour with these?" Well. Not exactly, since probably didn't know how to speak English or any language. But you know, you got paintbrushes to paint any cosmetic that you desire. And these are what they'd look like with all the uh, all the colours we have available to us. Very nice. A new contracts and con tracker. The community con tracker has been remade both outside and inside to be more pleasant to your eyes. And not only that, it has sounds. Yes, you heard that right or read it right. We're also introducing the Hazardous Environments campaign, themed around the content included in this event. Along with that, we're expanding the Creators campaign with new class-based contracts that will give you more freedom of which class you want to play slash complete the mission with. Alright, fair enough. Basically standard update stuff, you know, we get contract, we get cosmetics. And here's another wallpaper for this week. And then we go to day three. Introducing four new custom weapons. Damn straight. We've got the Crate Smasher. A near perfect replica of a certain crowbar, if only you could climb, climb through vents. So I've, th I've always thought the crowbar should be in TF2, I believe there was plans to have it in beta, if I'm remembering that correctly. Goodness. It seems it was planned to be used in TF2, but they didn't. I always thought they would have added it to TF2, it just seems like the right thing to do, you know, but obviously there isn't, and there's no, this nice new TF2 model for this event. The Crate Smasher, lovely. Then we have the Gamma Gazer. Packs a mean dose of extra hertz. A nice secondary for the engineer. It looks quite nice, got a nice design. It removes sappers, fires 40 metal per shot to destroy the sapper, and does 100% more damage. However, it fires 350% slower, has a small clip, 50% smaller clip, and less max secondary ammo. Fair enough. I mean, I like the design. I think that'd be a nice addition to TF2, should they add it. I mean, the engineer's really lacking a, like a solid secondary weapon in my opinion. Like, yeah, you've got the Wrangler, but that's only really good for taking control of the sentry. So yeah, I think it's good. It's been a nice secondary weapon for the engineer. I quite like it. And we've got the Thumper, which is looking like a bloody hell of a hard-hitting shotgun. A weapon for the soldier, pyro, heavy, and NG. Anyone who uses a shotgun, really. 130% damage bonus, 30% clip size, 50% more ammo and 15% more accurate than the shotgun. Okay, interesting. However, it fires 20% slower, has 50% less bullets per shot, reloads 30% slower, and it deploys 15% slower. But I mean, I believe that could be negated with the degreaser anyway, because it has faster switch times. So I think that'd be pretty fucking cool. Just blasting people with a nice sword off shotgun. Hell yeah, that'd be epic. And then we go to the hypodermic injector, which is a syringe for the medic. You had one of those before they removed it. Collect the blood from your enemies by hurting them and heal your teammates by transferring the blood to them. Oh, okay. That's pretty interesting. So it can like hold heals. That's pretty sick to be fair. And then we've got this sick looking wallpaper, which I, I like. So yeah, this wasn't a long video, but they haven't really added like, I think the trailer of last episode really pushed this video to over, what was it like seven minutes or something? So thank you. Thank you for the support on that. It's been mad. Uh, subscribe if you want to win an unusual hat. Still not sure what hat it will be, but I've got a few ideas in my head, so uh, we'll see. I don't want to mention it in case the prices kind of rise because I've said so, so I'm not. I'm going to keep it under wraps, but I assure you the effects are fucking cool that I've been looking at. So yeah, I, I'm excited for this. It should be coming out tomorrow, actually, so that's going to be fun. I'll try and get a video out on that. Not sure if it'll be as soon as when it happens because I'll be streaming over on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash otgt underscore tv. If you want to go drop me a follow, I'm trying to get a Valorant code. It's not been going well. So I'm going to be streaming some Animal Crossing and just having a good time. But that is day two and three of the Hazardous Environments community update. It looks really fun. I'm really excited for it. These, this set is, I like, I love the uh, NG Gordon set. I think it's very nice. And this video might be a bit shorter than I expected because I didn't know how much content was being released, but all these weapons look good. I'm excited to play it tomorrow or the day after, whenever it comes out. Actually probably coming out today, the day I upload this. So I'm not sure, but it'll come out and there'll be a video on it. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. And peace. Hey, oh, uh, uh, I've been up for like two hours. Two hours. Yo, bitch can food took a few showers. Few showers. I don't buy my just money dance. Yeah. That wristwatch costs a hundred grand.